Hello Rabbags, it's Jade. Welcome to an Art Survival Evolved news video. Yes, don't don't change the channel or the video. It is Pixark you're looking at right now. I'm going to be talking a little bit of how Pixark again is influencing Arc DLC, how it can basically have some clues and insight into what we can expect with Genesis. I've done this same sort of video last year because I was seeing lots of items coming into Pixark and they ended up being in the Arc Extinction DLC. Today's Community Crunch also demonstrates that even more with another look at the drill. We saw this reveal during the charity live stream a few weeks ago and it's in their mysterious mysteries today. Hardly a mysterious mystery if we all know what it is. But alas, I'm going to give you the news on that. We're going to be talking about the updates that come into Xbox and the PlayStation. A big chunky update that hopefully will provide some quality of life issues fixed. But maybe not the most important ones like duping, meshing and Primitive Plus on PS4 which is still broke. I've recorded this video twice now because I did start going off on a tangent. But I'm really getting annoyed with the community crunch. It's meant to be the highlight of the week for ARC players. It's meant to be where we get lots of information and we maybe see some positive stuff. We all know ARC has problems. We definitely do. Especially if you watch me because I give you all the information, good and bad. But for crying out loud wildcards, you've got to keep this community crunch going. It's so dry. No pictures from community, no art, no screenshots, no funny tales, nothing. This is the one time you officially speak to the players other than on bloody Twitter. And it's just so boring. I don't know what happened. Said used to be great. He used to have all different types of ideas. They've done little interviews with some of the devs in the past. Admittedly, they only did that a couple of times and then they kind of dropped it. But we need more. You've got a passionate fan base that love the game, even with all its problems. You should be reaching out for them, as well as just trying to placate everyone that keeps going, Oh, fix duping, fix meshing. Because if you can't keep your happy players happy, you've got no chance of keeping the ones that are unhappy happy. If that makes sense. Anyway, small rant. Don't worry, the rest of the video is not going to be like that. I'm done getting beat up over art. I'm just going to give you the news, good and bad. Unless they really, really muck things up. So, Mysterious Mysteries, The Drill. Yes, this is in Pixar. In fact, it's been in Pixar since its launch. Now, I'm not going crazy. If you actually dive into Pixar, bearing in mind all these pictures from other creators and stuff, they actually had the cryopods in the game way before they appeared in Extinction. Pixar launched in like May or April, I do believe if I remember rightly. And then Extinction launched about five months later. And lo and behold, the cryopods were in the game. And it's the same feature for the drill. Now, admittedly, they don't look very similar at all. So you get the idea. There's lots and lots of content with the drills and stuff like that in Pixar. And I think a lot of it could be actually in Genesis. Pixar's recently just added a mutation platform, which literally transforms creatures into different variations. And this might be a bit far reached, but I could definitely see in this as part of the base game in the future. Remember, Genesis is going to be a simulation, so they're looking to go a bit out there with some of the stuff they're doing. So imagine being able to put just a regular dinosaur that you've already got into the mutation pen, and now it pops a variation of it in different colours and maybe different stats. Now, there's various other things that I'm sure we're probably not going to see in the base game, but don't forget, this all generates from Wildcard and maybe their ideas in the past. Pixar has run and gone ahead with its own way, but some of that stuff definitely links back to it and is definitely influenced by some of the stuff we've seen. Maybe like the Tech Wyvern saddle that we've never seen in Art Survival Evolved properly, yet is available in Pixar. Pixar recently had its DLC Skyward, which was free, although it's yet to come out on the PlayStation 4. I do believe it's still only available on Xbox and PC, even though it's come out months ago. But it does offer maybe a more glimpse at the tech future. And we know Wildcard love tech to death, even though most of the players don't. Pixar also added a bunch of creatures from old DLCs, like the Lymantra, Water Bug Jug, Oil Bug Jug, and various different biomes. But they also added brand new creatures like the Winged Serpent. I may be reaching a little bit here, but I want optimism. I really want to feel that Genesis is going to add a bunch more creatures than we saw for the live stream at Extra Life. But I'm literally that worried we're not going to see many more. So prove me wrong, Wildcards. Show me you've gone all out. But one of the biggest, most telling things that I think we're going to see a lot of in the future is automation. Automation is big, hot property. Satisfactory maybe kicked the trend for bigger games to take advantage of. But it's long been something a lot of games have enjoyed or seen. 
Pixark has a bunch of automation added to it, including chambers and arms that transport goods and items and sort through stuff for you. And we've seen a little bit of that with the tech storage containers. They pretty much act in the same way as some of these, whereas Pixark makes it a little bit more complicated, adding more filter arms and specific fuel arms that actually load fuel into your, uh, your, your crafting machines. They've even got conveyor belts that you can load stuff on to transport from one box to another. And all of this can be controlled by one simple box. Not to mention automatic miners, smithy, industrial forge. Like I said, it's a bit of a reach, but it just brought it to mind that now Genesis is gonna have this massive super drill in the game. Reportedly, dinosaurs are still gonna be the best way to get resources, but for quickness and speed, if you do manage to craft one of these, it's gonna be a lot quicker than using any of the other tools. It may not necessarily be a tech item completely, but definitely the super drill or whatever they wanna call it is gonna be something interesting. And I hope we do see more items from Pixar actually making it into Genesis. If you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section down below. But like I said, cryopods were put in there. Generally, all this stuff is like shared and planned out by their development teams. So Turkey Trial 3 is ending on December the 3rd and so far it's not been that bad. No no reports of turkeys being too OP. They're not inside people's bases killing every single team and they've made a wise decision that they only get aggroed if you actually go and hit them. So you've only got a week or so left before that event finishes and then of course Winter Wonderland is also happening soon too. So I said to you guys there is an update for Xbox and PS4. Hopefully it'll be coming this week and this is what's going to be in it. Now some of this is quite technical so I'm just going to rattle it off. Fixed instance where cryopods could fall through the mesh. Fixed issue with HUD visibility on OSDs. That is the latest recent one. It looks like most of the stuff here though is going to be what's really coming. They've added different animation systems to the game to hopefully help in performance. Now this is specifically for PC but it does have a knock on effect for obviously consoles. All in all it's just about improving CPU performance which will help Xbox and Playstation. Changed dropped item physics back to client side prediction for player dropped items and physics sleeping logic on dropped items to improve server performance. Improved dropped item placement when dropping items from structures to reduce the possibility of them getting stuck. Reloading bows from prone TPV no longer gets them stuck. Firing bows while in orbit camera no longer gets them stuck. Firing bows while running no longer gets them stuck. Made it easier to look at items to pick them up. Fix the whip to properly pick up items that are flat on the ground. Previously would miss such items. And they've added an alternative activate option on items to pick up all items in a nearby range. That seems a good idea. It's just going to literally gather everything up if it's loose. Added new optional functionality to limit the number of dropped items in your area and enabled it on dedicated servers. So not massively sexy, but anything that makes Ark run a little bit better, I'm all for. Now you just got to go and fix your duping, your meshing and your broken mods like Primitive Plus. Not to mention Valguero hasn't had a bug fix in months. I'm pretty sure that map has still got a bunch of problems and issues that they said they were going to resolve and support. And it looks like that has dropped off too. So there we go guys, nothing really going on at the moment. It's just so dry. That's why you need to come and play my Ark Rust themed servers. I've got two PvP servers running right now on Xbox and PlayStation. They're very different to what you've ever played before. Not only are they no tame servers, other than some creatures just to get around. I've tried to make it with a little bit of imagination, as much like Rust as I possibly can. I said this in a live stream yesterday, and it's something I actually read from Hod Gaming, talking about how Ark Survival Evolved really isn't a PvP game in the way that we think it is. It's not about player versus player. It's maybe always been about dinosaurs but not even in the way that the trailers and update footage would show you. It's more just about a tower defense game. You literally grab dinosaurs just to put outside your base and defend yourself, or you're building literal turret towers to defend your base against other dinosaurs. So I want to make Ark a little bit more player versus player. Dinosaurs are great, and if we could have servers that actually utilize dinosaurs in having battles against each other, rather than what it just currently is at the moment, which is dinos parked everywhere, I'd be all for playing a bit more normal PvP. But since that isn't the way, I think I'm going to try it a different way and try and get in on this Rust action that you guys have been wanting more on my channel too. So come and join. The servers are open and free to everyone. The server's called Rust. Just type in Rust and you'll see it there. Jade PG is a Scorched Earth server. 
If you don't have Scorched Earth, what are you doing? Grab it next time it's on sale. And if it's popular, we may expand it to other maps. If PvP is not your thing, I do run PvE servers as well. Just switch back to Valguero. So if you're interested in playing on them, come and join my Discord for more details and to keep up to date with any changes I make to the servers. So until next time, hopefully we get some decent news. You don't see many videos from me on Ark. That's because I will not clickbait like others. I'm only going to give you news and information when I think there is. Until next time, Ratbags. Laters.